I definitely have someone to protect and someone to live for. After February 24th, it is clear who the enemy is. There are only targets. No pity, no empathy. There is no such thing. I want to be ready if the enemy comes. Mom, if you see this interview, I'm not at the headquarters. My name is Lilia, call sign Helga. I am 21 years old. She joined the service in June after completing the young soldier's training. Now I work as a sniper. I am from a small town in Mikolaev region. Since the age of three, I have been studying choreography, acrobatics, and rhythmic gymnastics. She graduated from a dance school with a degree in folk choreography. I taught, worked with children all the time, with adults. At some point, the creative profession exhausted itself and became uninteresting. I met the war in Kiev. I was woken up by my mother's call, the war has started. I took it in my stride. I said, Mom, calm down. After February 24th, all halftones were immediately erased. It became clear who the enemy was, who I needed to protect, because I definitely have someone to protect and live for. And from that moment on, I started looking for ways to fight. I knew that I wanted to be involved in the military, but I just didn't know which way to go about it. In principle, I always wanted to join this unit, but it seemed to me something unattainable. So when I saw on social media that there was a call for training, I contacted them, and they told me everything without any problems. They said, if you can handle the workload, join us. I made the decision right away. There are no separate standards for women and men. It was hard for everyone. Even the boys could not cope. It's not even about how well you do this or that exercise. You can do it badly, but the main thing is that you do it. You don't give up. It was more a test of strength of spirit. The guys helped. No one was prejudiced. Of course, no one would carry your stuff, but you could always ask if you didn't understand something. I did not gravitate towards the specialty of a sniper, despite various beautiful films about female snipers, which are very romanticized. In today's realities, a sniper is used more as an eye, an observer, and not always a shot. At 80%, the shot will not be made. Observation, adjustment of artillery. And what I like about the Azov movement, no one is forbidding you to study. Here, take it, shoot it, go figure it out. Your development and the fact that you are reaching for something are only approved. When I found out that there would be a combat mission, there was no fear. On the contrary, I was happy, because it took me a really long time to get there. In Bakhmut, I had to establish myself at the observation post. I could work as a sniper if I had the opportunity. The command was given for everyone to gather and come to the headquarters for a discussion. We divided responsibilities and people into subgroups. Who is responsible for what? Fear may be here, before the task. But I put on a mask of absolute indifference to what is happening. Dispassion. I see only the targets. There is no sympathy. No empathy for them. Go to hell. I'm pleased with myself in terms of moral fortitude. Get down. Some people had everything perfect, good, and well established before. Someone else lost it all. On the contrary, I multiplied it. I'm absolutely happy with the fact that where I am now, with whom, who is around me, what I am doing. These are motivated people who don't need to be dragged along. Everyone is absolutely belligerent. I like that. Energetic and motivated. You could say that I have acquired a team of big brothers. I want to leave some kind of mark. Make your contribution to history. You don't want to just disappear. I always want to be useful. 